On the Secretary of State's website, there are boxes to type in and submit information. We see them on websites all the time, but it turns out those boxes can be a gateway for hackers. They used a method called SQL injection, and SQL injection is a really popular way of breaching a database. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Hackers just copy and paste special codes like this, and it confuses the database. Can drop all of the contents of the database, so you could see who all of the users in a system were. Uh, it will allow you to, if you have the right commands, to change things in the database. Arizona election officials shut down the voter registration system in late June and say they found no evidence anyone's data was compromised. But in Illinois, hackers were able to copy and steal data for 200,000 voters. It's a really easy thing to protect against, but unfortunately it's very prevalent because people don't think about the ways to protect themselves against it. ASU cybersecurity expert Jamie Winterton says the way to protect a site is simply to set rules about what people can type in those boxes. Nobody's name has a semicolon in it, for example. Nobody's driver's license has an equal sign in it. Common sense cyber defense, she says, that quite often gets overlooked.